So on small teams, big impacts, we're looking for companies that help you have more productivity at work. And Podio has a mind-blowing system to help you work with other people. We're going to see it right now. Who are you? I'm Kasper Hultin. I'm the co-founder of Podio. Uh, I'm Danish. Started in, in Denmark with, uh, with the Podio team and now uh, trying to change how people work. Yeah, and the system is hard to explain to people because it, it, it enables a new kind, kind of work. Can you exp how, how do you explain what you do to other people? So Podio is a, is a work platform that empowers everyone to build their own, their own apps. So Podio is super flexible. It, uh, it you know, allows you to build a tool that fits actually the way that you want to get work done. And uh, yeah, that, that can be kind of uh, uh, challenging to, to explain in like a one sentence thing. But uh, I think everyone that had tried and seen Podio, uh, they know exactly what they want. And that was sort of the whole point of the system, right? That we mostly are forced into using tools that are built by others, the IT department or whoever, and it's super slow to change them and do stuff. Otherwise, we, uh, we use the tools that, uh, that we can change the, the spreadsheets, the emails, the documents of the world. But uh, I don't think they are powerful enough actually to get all our work done. So, so Podio is kind of in the middle of those two, the, the stuff that is too simple to, to put into like an IT system and build it like from scratch, but, but needs more than just a spreadsheet. Yeah, it's also hard to define who should use this, right? Because it's, it's for everybody from enterprise workers down to somebody running a really small business like a pool, a pool management system, right? Yeah, yeah, we usually say it's teams, right? So teams being a small company, uh, I see that as a team or at least a, uh, maybe a little bit bigger team and then teams inside big organizations. So we have everything from you know, small startups to, to small uh, enterprises, I told you about the, the swimming pool company in Kuwait to, to uh, Twitter to uh, Sony, BBC, using Podio in, in some of those teams to, to run uh, whatever workflows they're doing. Yeah, it's also hard to define Podio against other things because it's not like Yammer or like Airbnb. Yeah, you know, people <laughs> lo love coming here. I were the uh, Airbnb of X. You know, yeah, no, no, no. We, we are the Podio of Podio. That's a very <laughs> nice thing to be. <laughs> we don't need to. But uh, no, no, I, I think uh, Podio is about getting work done and not just talking about it. I think that's a, it's a big trend in social, obviously, in the whole enterprise sphere and, and, and a lot of social layers being put on top of uh, legacy systems and stuff like that. Uh, Podio is the other way around, right? It's, uh, it's you first and it's you building your tools and you building your apps and, and thereby sort of starting by the simple. And, and then we can connect to all the complex and uh, legacy systems yeah. later on, but that's not the point. Do you have to pay for this system? Uh, you know, is uh, Podio is free up to five employees. You can use whatever you want, as many apps and as many workspaces you, you need. And then uh, after five, you pay $8 a head uh, for your employees. And then actually the uh, $8 external- $8 a year or $8 a month? A month, okay. Uh, so $8 a month for, for employees and everyone external to your organization, your, your partners, your customers, whoever you work with, they are there for free. Okay. So we wanted to sort of, you know, this boundaryless world that we are working in today, we want to match that uh, to enable you to work with, with everyone and not just like from the industrial age, the ones with the same hat or on our days the same uh, email address. But so I have a small video team, Rocky and me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and we have a third party, party partner now, Laurel in San Antonio. And we have other people we deal with. So let's say we have five people that we need to work with. What what does Podio do for us? What when when we first open up Podio, what do we see and what do we have to know about to start using it? So uh, so first of all, it will connect all of you. We have a you know an employee network that you get off the bat, so all of you will sort of be in there and you can you know uh, do all the usual sharing of uh, links and files and stuff like that. Uh, then I think what you want to do is to set up workspaces to to sort of manage manage your work tasks. We are playing around with you know, managing these interviews or managing your, your, your contacts, your PR contacts. Uh, if you're doing like bigger projects, events or stuff like that, I would totally manage it uh, in, in Podio instead of having a, you know, a spreadsheet and then send an email back and forth with uh, the somewhat latest uh, version. So, 
So for you, I, I, I mean, for this small team, I think you could manage everything in Podio. And that's also some of the point, that you don't need to have a task manager and, and a CRM and five different tools for a small team like that. You can actually have everything in, in one place. Take me through the App Store and what... And what so the App Store is, uh, you know, as I said, like the whole sort of... Uh, one of the core things in Podio is that these apps and people can build them themselves and uh, obviously we want want people to share them so um, uh, let's say that you build like a cool uh, video interviewing app you should share that with the world and other people could use the same thing the swimming pool guy we talked about uh, Greenpeace have built some pretty cool apps and packs for running um, uh, communities uh, f uh, volunteer communities and uh, you know other volunteer groups around the world have then picked those up and and can now work like Greenpeace or, you know, I'm pretty sure Twitter is going to share how they're running uh, corporate development and, and I think it's pretty cool. You, know, you can, maybe your team is too small to have a corporate development team, but anyways, uh, if you did, uh, I mean, you could, uh, you could get uh, inspiration from, from... Well, and this is how you grow, right? Twitter, right? If my team really gets excited about Podio, we'll tell the marketing team and I'll get excited about using it and then they tell the HR team and all <laughs> of a sudden now you do have corporate development going Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's of course how we are and I think that's, the, that's not us that invented that. That's part of a whole sort of uh, consumerizing enterprise uh, trend right, uh, that, that it, it comes in bottom up. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, we communicate to people, not necessarily to companies. So it means that, as you say, like you will find it or the project manager somewhere will find it. Uh, she likes it, she sets it up, she can do that. Uh, she can invite the team, uh, invite someone from marketing and hey, this is actually pretty cool and, and then they start using it. So uh, we are not, uh, we are we're bottom up, up, not the uh, you know, CIO, CEO, yeah. enterprise sale. When you, when you come to Podio, the middle of it is a feed, sort of like Facebook has a feed or Twitter has a feed. What kinds of things show up on that feed and, and how, how does that change how you work with people? Let's say that you have a new video, video interview and, and Rocky sort of edits that uh, or, or adds a new one that will show up in your feed. So the Podio feed uh, also have the, the status messages, as you know, from Facebook, but it also have like the real work objects. So when I wake up in the morning, we have a team in Copenhagen, I'm here in San Francisco. I can you know, look through my, my Podio feed and I can see everything that's been going on uh, those six hours I've been sleeping here in, in, in San Francisco. And I think that's the big change, right? That it's not just, uh, uh, we, we get rid of this double bookkeeping. So most systems, like I go change the customer and then I have to remember to go to our so-called social tool and tell everyone. Uh, whereas here I change the customer and everyone that's involved with that customer, they will know instantly. So, so it's not, you know, you don't need to have sort of that double bookkeeping anymore. Yeah. And I think that's a, that's a big change. There, there's about a thousand apps out there, right? And they, they all do something on this news feed. So if I add an app and I use it, <coughs> it'll put different kinds of items on this, on this yeah, feed. Yeah, so for all activity in the, in the apps, it will it'll, uh, get into the feed. And uh, besides the feed, we have an inbox which, so in my mind, the feed is, uh, for me, the feed is uh, sort of nice to know, and my inbox is, is need to know. So uh, if I mention you on something, if I put you as responsible, if I give you a task, that will go to your inbox. Whereas, you know, if I change whatever, that will go into your feed. So we, we also try and work with what is sort of the, you know, nice to know and stuff like that, but, but this is about work, so there's also, you know, I, I want to make sure that you see your task yep. uh, and I want to make sure that you know that you're responsible for this so obviously you can manage that. Tell me about way. your feed. What, uh, what other kinds of apps do you use and uh, what's on your screen? What, what do yeah, you so my personal screen, uh, obviously we use Podio for everything in Podio. That makes uh, sense. But, but uh, I'm ahead of our user engagement, which is the ones that you know, take care of the users. Um, so we have an organizations app where we pull in all organizations that, that work on Podio and we can do this. Uh, we've cheated a little bit, so we pull it in via the API, so it sort of au autom uh, automatically updates. Um, then I have my, my user engagement projects, my, my meetings, I'm part of the management team, so I have my everything going on uh, in the management team, all our meeting stuff. Um, I'm quite involved with product and I've always been sort of part of the product uh, vision and, and conceptual parts. So 
So our, our product input app is, is quite a popular app in, in Podio. Uh, we, do, uh, we work with Scrum, so, so we have like a two week uh, Scrum period. So we have like sprint projects and, and stuff like that. Um, as the manager, I'm also part of the recruiting. So uh, every time someone applies on a website or send me an email, uh, I'll just forward it to my, my applicants app in Podio and will automatically create an applicant and that's shared with, with the rest of uh, the management team or whoever is part of uh, HR. Uh, so for me, it's literally everything. Like Podio is the tool that I open in the morning and, uh, and close maybe when I go to sleep. I mean, <laughs> one thing you, you do is meetings. Does it integrate with like Google Calendar or Exchange or anything like that to put <coughs> meetings or to manage meetings with other systems? Or do you have to manually copy that over to your calendar that you keep with other people? We, uh, we did a Google Apps integration uh, starting in, in, in December and doing sort of more and more things. We do connect to the, to the Google Calendar. So you know, if I create a meeting in Podio, it'll, it'll, uh, you can sort of um, subscribe to it and it'll be in your Google Calendar, uh, but we also did like in Gmail gadgets. So if you get an email, you have like a small task gadget, and you can sort of create a task directly from your from a Gmail interface and put it into Podio and direct it to people or workspaces or stuff like that. Wow. Um, you can add all your Google Docs uh, to to Podio. So we do more and more of these integrations. Actually, today we are launching a, a big partnership with Box. Uh, on, on sort of integrating with them, so both on mobile and on, on web, you can you can add all your box uh, documents and stuff like that. Those guys are pretty cool at taking care of the whole syncing and yeah. stuff like that, and you can obviously imagine that there will be more of those file things, uh, but we are pretty good at taking care of the collaboration and all the rest going on, right? So, uh, the you know, commenting on a file, the context to a file, putting it into a social uh, thing and not just like hide it in a, in a file share. We can't cover too much of how to create an app, but you showed me how, how to do it, and it's all drag and drop with a very little bit of te uh, writing some text descriptions. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, that's it. Like, uh, So it's not a, for a gearhead. It's not for a programmer. No, you don't no. need to know Ruby on Rails or no JS or something uh, crazy. No, no uh, programming whatsoever. So it basically all the Podio apps, they are the Podio app builder consists of, of some building blocks, we call them, so date fields and context fields and stuff like that. And those building blocks, you can simply just uh, drag and drop and, and build the structure that you want. And then you can add some more interactions and some tasks and stuff like that. But the, the, the core of it is sort of uh, these building blocks. And that's all, uh, all drag and drop, so. Can you start with an existing app and modify it? You know, like if a pool cleaner <laughs> app exists, yeah. right? And I'm a pool cleaner. Well, maybe I don't like that guy's app. He, it's missing a couple things I need. Can I start with his app and then just add those couple things I need? Or? Yeah, so all, all apps you can modify as you want. That also means that all the apps in the app store or the app market is uh, more meant as inspiration and templates. So, so if you get the, the, the recruiting app, uh, you can say like, ah, this is not exactly how I do recruiting, so I'm, I'll modify it to, to how we do, uh, do things, so yeah. yeah. And are there connectors to more APIs to pull data from other places? Yeah, on yeah we, we actually have a lot of people that have done uh, some of that already by themselves. Uh, everything you can do and see in the front end, you can access via the API on Podio. So everything is built on API and we, we've publicly launched it so people, they can, they can just play around with it. We have a few ourselves. Um, uh, Sendesk is one of them, so pull in your Sendesk things. And you can easily imagine pulling things into Podio and stuff like that. And the beauty of the Podio API is that the inside is flexible. So you can build your own apps and sort of set up your own structure in a matter of minutes. And then you can connect that to you know, the launch. Actually, we do get launch brought to the office in Copenhagen every day. And one of our developers, he, he's made this little launch bot uh, app where he scrapes the, uh, the uh, catering services <laughs> website. And then every day at 10 AM, it posts uh, in this uh, launch bot app uh, this is what we're having for lunch today. So, you know, a little crazy. bit geeky, but fun. So you've right? really built a whole platform to enable a new kind of work. Yeah, yeah, this is next step. This is, uh, we call it the future of work. This is, uh, you know, I think it's important. It's, uh, you know, we've had uh, personal computers for a long time. And we've been able to do uh, our own things in spreadsheets. I think we need to take a next step and, and, and hopefully more will join us. But 
uh, I think uh, BBC uh, mentioned us as sort of the citizen developers movement uh, last year. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's pretty cool. That's what it is, right? And uh, uh, we've, we've seen this in enterprise. I think there'll be a big trend coming, taking a lot of what we've seen in, in consumer, a lot of the innovations there the last five, six, seven years, and, and, and put it into enterprise. Like most people, they work in horribly old tools or yeah. spreadsheets and emails and you know a lot of us we are on google docs and you know that's kind of the fancy if you go to an ordinary company in houston texas whatever the, you know then then they're still uh, on something so i yeah. i think this is uh we need to w one last thing yeah one last thing uh, uh, how are you dealing with mobile and ipads because that that's another trend that's happening in enterprise so sure. many workers are switching over to to these new tools yeah yeah we are, we are all on that uh, trend as well. We, we launched uh, about half a year ago that uh, Podio uh, apps on your mobile. So when you build your interviewing app, it also works on mobile natively on your iPhone or iPad. Uh, we're currently playing around with uh, prototypes for the upcoming uh, iPad app. And uh, I would love to uh, show you when it's there. It's, I love uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, tell me just a little briefly, how's the company doing? Uh, what are, what's happening? How were you funded and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, so we are funded by a, a VC called Sunstone, um, and uh, and some of ourselves, our CEO, put in some money back then. Um, uh, we launched last year here in San Francisco by opening a Podio store, a little yep. bit like the Apple Store, just for Podio, so people could come in and build their own apps. Uh, so now we have team in Copenhagen, we have team here and. We have, uh, as I said earlier, plus 40,000 organizations using Podio in 170 different countries. We have more than 1 million apps installed from the App Store. And more importantly, uh, 75,000 apps have been built or modified by you know, ordinary end users out there building their own work tool. That, I think, is that's the cool part. Very cool. Thanks, Thanks. for coming out. Where do we find it? And wh where do we find more information? Uh, Podio.com. And it's uh, spelled? P-O-D-I-O. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thanks,